Temperatures are reaching triple digits in parts of the state, and it is a trend that's only going to continue this weekend. Let's get right over to Utah's weather authority, Allison Krogan, with the latest on these dangerous heat warnings, Allison. Yes, so heat advisories have been issued for the Wasatch Front come tomorrow. Right now, our fifth triple digit day of the year here in Salt Lake City, sitting at 100 degrees. 99 for Wendover right now, 98 for Ogden, 99 for Tooele, 96 for Provo. It's hot across the entire state. St. George, we're not too far behind. You're at 102 right now, so we're right there with you. We have windy conditions, especially across western Utah right now for Cedar. Milford, your wind is 30 miles per hour. Same thing for us here in Salt Lake, about 25 miles per hour for Ogden, Logan. And then we look over towards Elko and up into Evanston. It's also very breezy. So that's why we have red flag warnings that have been issued. They started at noon today in effect through tomorrow night. Strongest winds will be from noon to 9 p.m. each day. And we're going to continue with hot temperatures for much of our seven day forecast. So as you get ready for bed tonight, it'll be around 80 to 90 for the Wasatch Front with partly to mostly cloudy sky in northern Utah. Southern Utah, mostly clear to partly cloudy sky, still in the mid 90s for St. George at 10 o'clock tonight. Then we take you into tomorrow morning when you're waking up. 60s, 70s, and even close to 80 degrees for Salt Lake at 6 a.m. We're going to get hot really quickly tomorrow, and we're going to see temperatures run 100 to 105 for the Wasatch Front. St. George, you're close to 105 to 110 for much of your seven-day forecast. We'll talk more about the chance for some rain this weekend, your air quality, and your UV index coming up. A lot to talk about and think about. Allison, thanks so much. With these dangerously high temperatures this weekend, please make sure you, your friends, your family, your animals have a place to stay cool. This map shows the location of Salt Lake County's cool zones where you'll find relief from the heat with air conditioning and water. You can find this map and more details about the program on the county's website. That's slco.org or just search for cool zone. If you'd like information on how to cope and prepare for a heat wave, pull out your phone right now. Scan that QR code on your screen. It will take you directly to our website, fox13now.com, where you'll be able to find important tips on dealing with record high temperatures.